So you want to measure alkalinity. You can do that using a burette and a titration method. If you fill the burette with 0.02 normal sulfuric acid and drop it dropwise into a 50 milliliter water sample that has bromocrystal green indicator in it. You can watch that indicator change from blue to yellow and record the volume that you have dropped into the solution. Multiply that volume in milliliters times 20 and you end up with 100 milligrams per liter as calcium carbonate. And there you go, you're done. But if you want to understand what's happening, let's dive in a little bit further. The alkalinity in equivalents per liter is the equivalence of bicarbonate plus the equivalence of carbonate plus the equivalence of hydroxide minus the equivalence of the hydrogen ion. When we add hydrogen ion, the sulfuric acid, into the solution, it reacts with the carbonate to give us bicarbonate. It reacts with the bicarbonate to give us carbonic acid, and it reacts with hydroxide to give us water. Notice that the bicarbonate and the water are not part of the alkalinity equation, so we have effectively converted alkalinity into non-alkalinity components. And in this case, we had two equivalents of alkalinity because of the two minus charge on the carbonate ion, and that was converted to one equivalent of alkalinity. So even in this case, one equivalent of uh, hydrogen ion is burning one equivalent of alkalinity. It's not really burning, but it's reacting, reacting that alkalinity away. So the amount of H plus ions that we add tells us the amount of alkalinity that we had in solution. So let's figure that out. We added five milliliters of this acid and it was 0.02 milliequivalents per milliliter. That's what 0.02 normal means. And so we can convert, we, we know that one milliequivalent of H plus gives us one milli, or reacts with one milliequivalent of alkalinity. And there you go, we have 0.1 milliequivalents of alkalinity in that five milliliters of sample that we dropped into the uh, sample, or five milliliters of titrant that we dropped into the sample. Um, and we have that same number of equivalents of alkalinity in the sample. Um, now, if we have 0 .0, 0 0.1 mil equivalents of alkalinity in that 50 milliliter sample, we can convert to liters, and now we know that we have two milliequivalents per liter of alkalinity. Milliequivalents per liter is good, and a lot of chemists would like that, but we'd like to get it to calcium carbonate units. So we take into account the molecular weight of calcium carbonate, which is 40 because of the calcium, plus 12 because of the carbon, plus 3 times 16 because of the three oxygens, and it is conveniently 100 milligrams per millimole. We take that two milliequivalents of alkalinity that we had up here, and we convert. Two milliequivalents of calcium carbonate are in every one millimole of calcium carbonate. And uh, then we convert millimoles to milligrams using the molecular weight that we just saw. And voila, we have 100 milligrams per liter as calcium carbonate. So our original idea checks out, but hopefully now we see how we arrive at those units.